Welcome back. Today we're going to look at options for matting our photos on our scrapbook pages. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the subscribe button and bell icon now. So I want to talk about photo mats and the options that are available to you. You can buy pre-cut four and a half inch by six and a half inch photo mats that will work perfectly with your four by six photos. When you mount your photos, your four by six photos on this type of photo mat, it leaves a nice one quarter inch border around your photos. I have a couple of different photo mat packages that I've purchased recently. These happen to come from Hobby Lobby. And if you wait for a sale, you can get these for very affordable prices. This stack of 100 photo mats is regularly $6.99. I waited for a sale and got it for $3.49. There's also some mats that come in a pad. These are 20 designs, three each, so 60 sheets for $10.99. At half off, they were only $5.49. So the difference being these are plain cardstock colors, but you get 100, and these are a variety of designs, but you only get 60. Something I didn't notice about this mat stack is that they're adhesive already. So when you're ready to mount it on your page, you can just peel that backing off and it's already sticky and ready to go. That's kind of a nice feature. What I want to do is determine which color looks best with this photo. I want to demonstrate how choosing the photo mat kind of changes the look of the photo. Let's pull out several options and compare the effect they have on the photo. I printed five of this same photo so that we could compare the color selection side by side. The whiter cream is a very classic look. Here's one of the pattern card stocks. It has blue. This one has some pink and brown. This one has earthy green tones and this is gold. There's things I like about each of these and it really becomes a matter of choice on your part about the mood that you want to set with your scrapbook page. We could go through and select any number of other colors to see what the impact is and whether or not we like the mood that it sets with the photo. I don't like any of those. Let's try, there's a lot of earthy dark tones in that rock. Let's see what just plain black looks like. Wow, the the photo really pops on black. I didn't expect that. Let's try sort of the royal blue or navy blue. That's pretty also. It kind of brings out the sky. So we have lots of options and it's nice to be able to choose the color that we want to set the tone on the page before we start scrapbooking. If you don't already have 
mat stacks like this in your stash, I would recommend that you wait for a sale at either a store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels and go ahead and pick up a couple of stacks that have a wide variety of colors so that you can experiment and choose the mood you want to set with your layout. Now, if you don't have access to a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or you don't have time to wait for a sale, I want to show you a couple of hacks for creating photo mats with 8.5 by 11 and 12 by 12 paper. With 8.5 by 11 paper, you can get four smaller photo mats. They'll end up being four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'll trim this in half, this eight and a half by 11 in half at four and a quarter. And then we'll trim it down the middle at five and a half. I'll put these dimensions down in the description of this video for your reference. But there we have four nice four, four and a quarter by five and a half inch photo mats. The four by six photo is too big here. If I want a one eighth inch border around my photo, I just need to trim my photo length down from six inches to five and a quarter inches. When you're trimming your photo, make sure you don't crop something that's important. Because my daughter's leg is on this side, I wanna be careful. I don't wanna trim off of that end of the photo because that takes her out of the photo. I'm deciding that I will trim this side off. So it's, it's a minor amount that you're trimming off your photo, but significant enough that it makes a difference in how the photo looks. We will compare that, we'll set that aside, we'll compare it in a minute. With your 12 by 12 paper, you can make six four by six photo mats. Trim your cardstock down the middle at six inches. Turn it the other way and trim in four inch strips. Now I have six four by six photo mats. That's the exact same size as my photo. So in order to create a 1 8 inch border around the photo on the photo mat, I need to trim one quarter inch from one side and either the top or bottom of this photo. In this instance, I really like the blue sky and there's a limited amount of blue sky in the photo but lots of the brown rock. So I will trim the 1 8 inch from the bottom of the photo instead of the top and then on the left hand side. Let's see what this looks like. A perfect 1 8 inch border around the entire photo. Now let's compare what this looks like in the different sizes that we've created. So untrimmed, so I don't have to trim my photo with this four and a half by six and a half photo mat. Here's one of the photo mats, the four, four and a quarter by five and a half inch photo mats. And here is a four by six photo mat. So there is a difference in the size of your photo with these options. 
but I want you to see them side by side so you can kind of compare and know that you have options when it comes to your choosing your photo mats. Come back tomorrow, I'll be doing a layout with this photo. I'll be making a background with mixed media. I'll be painting with distress inks. Until then, we can keep on scrapping our stash together. Here are links to other videos with lots of ideas to scrap your stash.